I don't know why this isn't like the biggest story in the country right now. There is a beach right now in Panama City where seven people have died in the last nine days. And things are just proceeding as if that's not the craziest thing in the world. This is basically a situation of rip currents, which are scary in the best of times and do frequently result in people dying. But rarely have they created such like Bermuda Triangle like area of beach. So let's talk about it. There are now pleas for people to take these uh, the warnings, the cautions that have been given seriously. Three swimming deaths in one day last Saturday. It is now the deadliest beach in America. Thank God that's the deadliest with seven people dying in nine days. The three people who died just in that day include a 39 year old woman from Georgia, a 63 year old man from Georgia and a 68 year old man from Michigan. Six of the seven deaths, by the way, occurred under double red flags, the highest level of caution in the beach flag warning system. And basically there are these currents of water that that moves super fast and can be very difficult to get out of. The general advice that is given is for people to not try to fight it and swim back to the shore where you can quickly exhaust yourself even if you're an amazing swimmer. But instead to swim parallel to the shore until you eventually break out of the rip current and can return. But that is very difficult. It's particularly difficult advice to remember when you're caught in a rip current and you're worried about drowning. That said, like they're now talking about maybe upping fines for people who enter the water when the warnings are at that red flag level. But um, yes, I just like two people died. And that day, people still streamed into the water. Six people died in a week, slightly more, and people still streamed in for more people to die. Mm -hmm. I don't understand, like the beach is fun or whatever, but I do not understand this story at all. What do you make of it? I mean, you're not gonna understand it, right? If you see those red warning flags up there and you still decide to get into the water, I think that says a lot about the person, not just the person, but I think a lot of people are afraid to overreact in a lot of situations, right? Especially if you're coming from Michigan and you have this beach vacation that you planned out. No, I'm getting in that water, you know, I wanna go. It doesn't make any sense. To most people, it doesn't make any sense. It's good that this is getting national coverage now, though, so that more people will be like, oh, this is a real problem. These are real threats, especially if you don't live near the beach all the time, you might not realize how bad something like a rip current could be. We need to educate more. You know, people, the more people know, the more they can be prepared, the more they can, uh, you know, better assess risks whenever they're faced with them instead of just being like, eh, it's not a big deal. It's like, yeah. and it just reminds me of people um, whenever they come to visit Texas and there's like a tornado watch or warning, and then like they react very differently from how the locals would react. Sometimes you don't know how That's to true. respond to certain things. Yeah, 100%. No, I think that you're totally right. And actually, I think. Like in particular, I think the world has been constructed in such a way that we are losing our ability to understand that the real world still exists. Yeah. Like it's like people who get lost going hiking and just believe I have GPS in my pocket, I'll be fine. Not knowing that it's not necessarily gonna work. You might not have signal where you go. Like people are now dying just from interacting with the real world because we believe that everything is technology, everything is civilization. I'll be saved, whatever it is. But no, when you get out into the ocean, civilization is done. You are now in the wild. When you go hiking and you you go off the trail, you fall off the trail, that's it for civilization and most of society in a lot of cases. And I think that, I don't know how we we train people, remind people that the real world exists, but people are dying. It's a tragedy. I'm not like making fun of these people. Like I know that they felt desperate. They'd gone that far to get to this beach. It is devastating that so many people would die in such a period. But that that more people would want to go out just shows a lack of respect for the threats that remain in the real world. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.